If you have tried to make a to-go order from restaurants in the Riverdale area, you may have had trouble getting through. Business owners say they're getting bombarded because of spam calls, likely because scammers have spoofed their phone numbers. THP 11's Jay Jackson has more on how they're trying to cope and what you should do to stay out of it. And we probably got about 50 calls yesterday, and I've had at least 25 or 30 calls today, and it's obviously someone spoofing our number, trying to hide whoever they really are. It's a group of restaurants in the Riverdale area that started getting random phone calls from people who say they're returning phone calls for things other than food. They got a call yesterday, someone called back and said that it was something about call back for $5,000 prize or something like that. Some restaurants have had to turn off their phones just to stop the constant barrage. So if you try to call in for a to-go order. Thank you for calling the Faded Rose Restaurant. We've been experiencing phone issues, so if you have a missed call from us, you can disregard it. We were getting phone call after phone call after phone call after phone, literally the phone would not stop ringing. The faded rose says customers have to go through an added step to reach them by phone, hoping that others calling them back will hear their voicemail and not call back. It's from folks from all over the United States, uh, Chicago, California. This morning we got one and, you know, used a lot of profanity to toward one of the one of the employees because they don't know what's going on. This is a technique used by scammers. The goal is to use a local number so that you will answer the phone. And it is called spoofing. Sometimes it's called neighborhood spoofing. And once you answer, because you think you're answering a familiar number, they can pitch their scam. The Better Business Bureau of Arkansas says that scammers will also put people who answer on a list for whatever else they intend to use it for. They use different apps and computer programs to make this work. And in some cases, it'll display as a local business or a person with whom you've previously communicated with. But for the restaurants, they're just hoping that the spoofing will stop. We've been in contact with AT&T. We've talked to Comcast, uh, Xfinity. There's not a lot that they can do. In Little Rock, Jade Jackson, THV 11 News.